Hey guys, Q here. In this video, I'll be breaking down discussing the fifth teaser trailer for Better Call Saul Season 6. Warning spoilers for Breaking Bad, El Camino, and Better Call Saul up to the Season 5 finale. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more constant updates on Better Call Saul Season 6, along with everything else in the Breaking Bad universe. Also, I just did a Season 1 recap and tier list for Season 1 of Better Call Saul. Go show that video some love, I'd really appreciate it. That all being said, let's jump into the trailer breakdown. So this teaser appears to be from during the Breaking Bad marathon that's been playing on TV on AMC the past few weekends. Thanks to this Twitter user for first linking me and showing me the trailer, and also thanks to this Twitter user for linking me a higher quality version of the trailer. Speaking of which, follow me on Twitter for everything Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, along with some other off-topic updates. I posted this trailer yesterday on Twitter, so if you follow me on Twitter you could have possibly seen it early. We'll first start talking about Jimmy and Kim. At the beginning and end of the teaser, we get multiple clips of Jimmy at a boxing ring. I don't think we've ever seen anything in Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul in regards to professional fighting, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. That being said, this seems pretty original, and so what could this be for? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is that this is going to be involved in one of Jimmy's next cons. I assume that he's somehow going to rig the match in his favor, depending on what his motives might be for someone to win or lose a match. There's a clip showing Saul Goodman's statue of Liberty blow up in the desert next to the American flag painted trailer that we've previously seen Jimmy and Kim at. So now we finally know why we keep seeing them there, they're trying to buy that Statue of Liberty blow up from whoever works there. This makes sense as in previous trailers we've seen Jimmy standing in the shadow of it in the desert. We previously speculated that Jimmy standing in its shadow in the desert was where he was getting it from, and of course it turns out to be the American flag painted trailer. The dots are all connecting. What's really interesting though is the fact that Kim is there helping Jimmy buy it. Could they be pulling a con in order to acquire it, or are they actually just convincing someone to sell it to them. This also paints the picture that Kim was more closely involved in Jimmy setting up his Breaking Bad Saul Goodman office than we originally thought. Just how closely does Kim work with Jimmy in regards to his Breaking Bad office? And as a side note, this could start to unravel where Kim is during Breaking Bad. We also see Jimmy at the courthouse trying to talk to the receptionist we saw so much of in Better Call Saul seasons 1 and 2, except she's giving Jimmy the cold shoulder, and she's putting up a literal closed sign at her till. Why is she refusing to work with Jimmy. It looks like Jimmy's bringing her a TY branded plushie as another bribe to get her to do something for him, but she obviously denies this offer. This is a great callback to the first few seasons of the show, even with the stuffed animal as a bribe, which reminds me of in season 2 when Jimmy's assistant from Davis and Maine, Aaron, rips the stuffed animal bribe out of Jimmy's hands in anger of what she's seeing. To be honest, I only remember this due to currently rewatching season 2 for a future tier list video, so be on the lookout for that too. Now, speaking of callbacks, we get a clip of Francesca banging on a window with a sign on it, and flipping the image, we can see that the sign reads, Saul Goodman and Associates. This is most likely at Saul's Breaking Bad office, but when Jimmy first buys it, before he's put up his official Saul Goodman sign. This could even be before or while he's trying to acquire that Statue of Liberty blow up. I love that we're getting more Francesca in the final Better Call Saul season, I've been waiting to see more of her since season 3. This must show when and how Saul hires her back on to be her Breaking Bad secretary. That being said, why is she banging on Saul's door so urgently in this clip? There's a clip of Jimmy and Kim sitting in Kim's dimly lit living room with her saying, you know what comes next. Very ominous. There's also another clip later in the trailer of Kim giving a heavy sigh on her bed. There's a random clip of Kim sitting in an office, I'm not sure whose or why. There's also a clip of Kim's reflection in a coffee mug, which could be the same building. In the reflection, we see those square frosted glass windows from the iconic season 3 office that Jimmy and Kim used to have. But those types of windows seem to be fairly common in Albuquerque, because while re-watching the first few seasons of Better Call Saul, I've noticed those windows in a lot of different buildings as well. Moving on to Howard, there's a clip of someone putting up a sticky note next to some others, with Howard's anonymous a license plate written on it. Could this be some sort of official police investigation? What could the cops want with Howard? Could Jimmy frame him for something? Considering that we know that Jimmy shows up at the Hooker Motel dressed as Howard, we can assume that Jimmy will do something to ruin Howard's reputation or even get him into legal trouble, which would in turn ruin his reputation. We know that Jimmy drives into the Hooker Motel parking lot with either Howard's vehicle or a vehicle exactly like Howard's with the same memorable Namaste license plate. Plate. Whatever Jimmy does here could frame Howard in some sort of illegal activity with his likeness, vehicle, and license plate as key descriptions from witnesses. 
On the other hand, could this be someone other than the cops with the sticky note? Could it be Jimmy and Kim planning against Howard themselves, or could it be the cartel or some other criminal organization staking him out? I tried zooming in on the other sticky note beside the Namaste license plate one, but I couldn't make out what was said because it's out of focus and blurry. Let me know if you can somehow read it or what your theories are about who's staking out Howard in the comments below. There's also a clip of Howard in a parking lot talking to someone, although I'm not sure who or why. Could this be Kim or Jimmy trying to make a deal with him, or could this be the cartel or some criminal organization confronting him for creating a case against Jimmy? This could also be whoever is staking him out and creating that board of sticky notes. Again, let me know what you think. Now for Lalo, there's a clip of him in the same outfit that we've seen in previous trailers and promo images, but this time he appears to be getting a ride in the back of a pickup truck. I assume that Lalo changes into these clothes right after he meets that mysterious man from the official trailer, as when he meets him he still had his bloody clothes on from the night of his failed assassination attempt in the season 5 finale. So after the failed assassination attempt, Lalo goes to the mysterious man, while he's staying there he changes clothes. He activates whatever plan he has with this mysterious man, and then he gets a ride in a truck. I'm not sure who's in the front of the truck, but it looks like two people, with the driver wearing a baseball cap. One of these two people could be the mysterious man himself, or Lalo could just be hitchhiking and getting a ride from some random strangers, or some random people getting paid to. Either way, this has got to be him trying to return to Albuquerque, probably by driving through some low-key part of the desert as to not be noticed by police. Going back to Albuquerque is going to be dangerous for Lalo, as he'll have to stay in hiding from the police due to them thinking that he's out on bail or fled while on bail under that alias de Guzman that he had in season 5 when he was arrested. Since the show creators don't want to spoil what Lalo does when he gets back to Albuquerque, this is why they're barely showing him in trailers, only showing his adventure back while still in Mexico, which I assume happens in the first episode or two. There's also a clip of who I think is Lalo in a black suit walking past a dark bathroom with a huge mirror. Could Lalo be breaking into someone's home or is he just going to see someone? And also, why the suit? Now moving on to Nacho, there's a clip of Nacho looking beat up but in a nice shirt looking over his shoulder. How does Nacho get injured? Is it from a car crash or something like that or does he actually get beat up? It seems as though the Salamanca twins are chasing him trying to find him and if they do find him I assume that they'll just kill him on sight but could they take him captive? I'm leaning towards a car crash or something like that, but let me know what you think. We get a different clip of Nacho walking towards the Mexican motel that we've seen him at in previous trailers along with the Salamanca twins as well, probably trying to search for him. What's more is that the truck Nacho is walking towards is the same truck that we saw Nacho hiding in with the two guns, along with in the last teaser trailer with broken glass and bullet shells in the back of the truck, and it could even be the vehicle we saw with a flat tire too. Now this could be that motel where Nacho goes to get the envelope with a gun and some money, which is the same gun that he's hiding in with the truck. So in chronological order, I think that Nacho goes here to receive a secret care package envelope, but that the Salamanca twins are somehow tipped off that he's there and they go to find him. Nacho tries to hide and escape as fast as he can, but he eventually gets caught and shot at in his truck before he drives away to flee. Now Nacho getting shot at and shooting back would explain the broken glass and bullet shells in the back, along with the flat tire, which could result in him getting in a car crash, which could explain why his face is messed up in that first clip that we talked about. That's just my theory, but what do you think? There's a miscellaneous clip of Nacho holding a gun up around a corner, which is probably while he's on the run in Mexico. There's also another clip showing Nacho escaping the Mexican motel by forcing out a mini air conditioner. This creates that tiny window that we've seen Nacho jump out of in previous trailers. Now speaking of the Salamanca twins, we get a few quick clips of them walking through the failed assassination attempt crime scene again. One clip shows someone's hand holding a bag, looks like they're picking up evidence, while the second clip shows the twins entering a building with officers inside. People have pointed out in the comments that normally random civilians can't just walk through a crime scene without being spotted, so how did the Salamanca twins legally get permission? Moving on to Mike, there's a clip of him opening a floorboard in some dark room to see what's underneath. The room that he's in seems to be completely empty, so I'm not sure where he is. This couldn't be him searching Nacho's place, right? If not, then is he grabbing some of Gus's or his own supplies? Or is he stealing someone else's secret stash? There's also a clip of Mike walking down a ladder to a dimly lit room, and I assume that this is the same location as the previous clip we just discussed. And speaking of Gus, there's a clip of him walking out into the Los Pollos Hermanos parking lot with his fake public persona appearing to be gone as he looks slightly angry or surprised. What is Gus looking at that caused him to show his true colors, so to speak? There's also a clip of who I assume is Gus down in the area where the super lab is being built, and if you remember, in the beginning, 
beginning of Season 5, Gus told Mike that he was shutting down and postponing the construction of the Super Lab due to Lalo. Now that Gus thinks that Lalo has been taken care of, he may reopen the project. Or maybe Gus knows that Lalo isn't dead, so he's just down there sulking about how he can't finish the Super Lab. Now, as we know, Lalo isn't dead. We'll have to see how long it takes Gus to figure it out if he hasn't yet already. I assume Gus will fully realize Lalo is still alive in episode 602, considering that the episode synopsis reads, Gus investigates his suspicions. If you miss me breaking down the titles and synopsis for the first two episodes of season 6, I did it in my teaser trailer 4 breakdown, which I'll link on screen and at the end of the video. Moving on to some other miscellaneous clips that didn't really fit into any given category, there's a clip of some random person with goggles on pouring a liquid into a container that the camera is in the bottom of. The first thing that comes to mind is that this is someone pouring acid into a barrel, which was a popular way to dispose of dead bodies during Breaking Bad. So could this be Mike or Gus's doing, or is this something to just throw us off? What if it's total clickbait, and this is an actual scientist doing something harmless? I could see them starting a new scene with this kind of cinematography to throw off viewers during the first few seconds before switching cameras and showing what's really going on. So do you think that this is a murder victim's body being disposed of, or is this just a fake out? Moving on, there's a clip of someone turning a crank on a power tool to break open what I assume is the lock on Nacho's safe. I'm guessing this is Hank and Gomez, because if Mike somehow gets inside the safe before them, he might just crack the safe by, you know, listening to the clicks in order to not show any trace of him opening it first. And if you're confused by this Mike versus Hank and Gomez, uh, Nacho safe situation, check out my previous trailer breakdown update where I go into more detail. I'll have it linked on screen and at the end of the video. There's also a clip of a car turning its headlights on outside of a building on a rainy night. Not sure what this could relate to, but it's a clip we haven't seen yet. Also, since this trailer has the song Just Another Ghost by 919, I don't think I can show the trailer with its audio due to copyright issues. Normally I show the trailer at the beginning of the video before I jump into the breakdown, but if you're wondering why it wasn't there, well that's why. So to be completely honest, I've never heard of this song or the creator, but after a listen to the 4 minute song, it's definitely ominous and nerve wracking, which is very fitting for the final Better Call Saul season. This song definitely has Better Call Saul Breaking Bad vibes, and I wonder if this song will be in one of the actual episodes as part of the official soundtrack. The end of the trailer also reminds us that on the season 6 premiere date, April 18th, both episodes of 601 and 602 will be airing back to back. I think that this teaser trailer is absolutely wild. Normally a teaser only shows one scene with one character or something like that, but this teaser shows a wide variety of clips elaborating on what we saw in the official trailer. This was very exciting to see and I can't wait for season 6. Let me know of your opinions for this teaser trailer in the comments below. Also check out my Better Call Saul Season 1 tier list video, as I said, I really enjoyed putting it together, but it took a lot of time. It's a whopping 40 minutes, and I know some of you enjoy longer form content over a half an hour long, so be sure to check that out and give it some support. Also, be on the lookout for my Season 2 tier list video coming up in the next week or so. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything that I've said today, or if you're new to the channel and just haven't yet already, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on when I post new content on Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!